Hello guys, this is video demo of Fping utility for Windows operating system. With the Windows operating system, a default utility ping comes, but with ping you cannot give many command line options, which are very much interesting for any network administrator, as well as a network programmer or any user who wants to see the connectivity between his computer and the host or the server with which he want to access some service. So if you want to see the connectivity between your machine and the www.google.com site, you can use simple ping utility. But many times it happens that when you are in office, you want to see which all other computers are there on the LAN with which computer I can talk, which computers are connected to server or a system administrator many times want to see which all computers or which all machines are up at this moment. A ping is a simple solution but with ping you cannot change the time delay between successive pings or you cannot produce a beep sound for every successful entry or you cannot do much scripting with the ping or you cannot change the size of the ping packet or the data portion of the ping packet or you cannot put some specific values in that data or you cannot send packets to all hosts simultaneously with single command. All these options are provided with fping on command line. fping or popularly known as fast ping is very popular tool in network administrators and uh, interesting explorative users. Let's see the command line options one by one. I'm just typing fping.exe which is a binary file. Now it is showing me the usage and the options supported by fping utility. The usage of fping is very simple. It is just fping.exe, the host or the list of hosts and the options which you want to give. Okay, so if I try fping, fping.exe, say www.google.com, fping will go ahead and send some ping packets. Now, with no other special options, fping will behave exactly as ping behaves. So, fping will go ahead, it will send four ping packets, four ICMP ping packets, and it will show the ping statistics like how many ping packets were sent how many were successful, what was the loss percentage and what was the round trip delay, minimum, maximum and average. Okay, so with fping also without any special options, it will behave exactly same as ping behaves. Now we will see the beauty of fping. First parameter is minus s. With minus s, you can change the data size of the ping packet. So if I send www.google.com with minus s and say 300. Now the ping packets will be generated with data size in ping packet ICMP ping there is a data embedded in that ICMP ping you can add that data so that data size is now 300 here the default ping data size is 32 bytes which is same for fping as well as ping now with fping you can change the data size with minus s option and you can increase this data size up to 65,500 which is a huge value. Of course our Ethernet MTU is around 1500, 1448 or something. Now if we keep the data size anything more than 1448 or even including headers it will even not be equal to 1448, it will be less than that itself. If the size increases to any value around 1500, then the packet is going to be fragmented. So, but all this fragmentation, etc., TCP will take care of that and packet will be successfully delivered. Now, why to increase the data size in ping packet? For the simple reason to see the throughput, to see the connectivity status, to see the load on in between switches and routers to see the load on the host, how much load the host can carry. A simple throughput test can be done with ping packets with hard, with large number of data size. Okay. 
let's see the second option which is minus s with minus s option you can input the size as a sweep so if you mention with minus capital s if you mention say 100 slash 115 say now ping will go ahead and it will generate the packets with the sweep size from 100 to 115 so ping host with the data sweep 100 to 115 every thousand millisecond or every one second okay now ping is sending packets with data size as 100 101 102 and so on up to 115 after 115 it will quit default delay between any two successive ping packets is one second 